And we're back. Yes, we are. This is TC Music out of MTN. We are located in Minneapolis, and welcome to the show. Down by the Lazy River, we're alive tonight. And it is sizzling hot outside. It couldn't be better. I love it. There's people <laughs> walking their dogs and riding their antique bikes around uptown. It is just a good feeling, and there's smiles on everybody's faces. I love it. You know, it. if you're anything like me, you're just complaining and swearing that you're melting in this heat. But I met a guy earlier this week who's from West Virginia. What's he doing here? People move around. I don't know. I but he just this, said. I thought you were going to say something here. He just said, if you guys think it's humid, you don't know what you're talking about. Wow. We don't have it so bad, boys and girls. Say, there's a couple things that I just wanted to tell everybody about what's going on around town and what's not so going much, on around town. So much has happened mm -hmm. and so much is about to happen. Well, do you remember the benefit that was going to be taking place at... Trucadero's. Yeah. Do you remember the name of it? Jim. Yeah, it's called An Evening of Music for Jim Bote. For children. Well, latest on the news is Trucadero shut their doors. They didn't tell anybody. Oh, and we had such good friends there, and it was a very, very nice room. Well, We're don't sorry worry. to don't see worry, that don't worry. go. Because guess what? David from the Fine Line and his crew said, you know what? We cannot let down the children. It's, it's wrong, first of all. And um, second of all, <laughs> so many people have already bought tickets. And so don't worry. It has been changed to June 29th. July 29th. Excuse me. July 29th. June is right now. Yes. But here's the deal. It gives people time to think about how many other friends they can invite there. So we have an event, Fine Line, July 29th, and it's raising money for children, and it's by local hospitals that are really heading this whole charity. And the charity is such, I'll tell you, it pulls at your heartstrings because you think to yourself, what if it was my child? Or many times people ask themselves, what can I do or how can I help? Well, you can help by being a guest. You can help by donating. You can even go to charitywarriors.com or on their Facebook and ask them because they are there for many events, including mine. And I have to tell you, they come up with so many clever ideas. They always show up on time. <laughs> even when their tires are flat, they're like, we're on our way. And you can count on them. And they're there for very, very, very good reasons. And the reason why you should be there is because you are. You're raising money. And you know what? In this economy, we talk about how people, you know, really are hurting right now. In a sense, if you get your money's worth at these events, why wouldn't you go out and spend your money that way? It makes you feel good, and yet you're giving money to children. You children know, don't have their own jobs right we now. We at Charity Warriors have been very lucky, and uh, we endured a great misfortune at the beginning of this week. And through a little bit of work and a whole lot of help from our friends, we have uh, managed to uh, weather the storm. There is going to be a wonderful show on the 29th of July. And as Kelly said, you'll get your money's worth. If you want to know more about it, you just dial us up at www.charitywarriors.com. You'll get the whole story about the mission oh, to Chimbody. Did you see the, the the TV, like the news? They actually uh, they interviewed a link Eric on uh -huh. that site to Pretty WCCO News. Yeah, if Take you do something bad, you don't uh, give the deposit back to the people who paid for it. Well, you will be caught. <laughs> you know, and people are backing we don't it up. we don't know what has happened at Trocadero's. We don't know what will happen, and. Uh, 
We hope that everything comes out for the best. We are managing to roll with the punches, and that means that you've got a show coming up in spite of our difficulties. Of course. Yes, exactly. Now, also, think about this. I mean, downtown, I think it's called PV Plaza, there's some really great bands taking place and right now as we speak. So after the show, head on down there around 9, 30, 10. It's amazing how many local musicians are down there. Not only that, let's say you want to get out of Minneapolis. Well, Canterbury Downs has their deal going on right now. And they have some bands down there also. There's so many places to catch music. So Why McLean not do it in your sundresses and shorts? Music going and out at the zoo. And yes. if you wait until past sundown, you can actually enjoy the weather too. Yeah. And speaking of that, Treasure Chest is doing their golf tournament July 10th. Charity Warriors will be there. They are actually uh, trying to give away, trying to give away a $15,000 Harley Davidson. And I wish the person who gets a hole in one good luck on that. Also, Visa prepaid cards for five hundred dollars. Bose Entertainment Center. We even have Happy Gilmore swings on chan well, not channel on uh, golf hole number one. And so we have people going out taking their best swing. We're gonna actually put it on the website. It's gonna be a complete, like, mad fun. I, I just can hardly wait. And then, of course, the gala is coming up July it's 31st. It's the big one before the big one. Yes. We're going to have a good time outside. Yeah. Then we're going to go inside and have a good time there, too. Speaking of uh, different people, musicians, if you are doing your own show and you're looking for tickets and such, I'd like to bring out a friend of ours. And, of course, we only promote the good people because we want to surround ourselves with people that give great deals. Let's invite Mike from Vital to come on out. We have a new friend, and we're very glad Come on out, Mike. to welcome Mike. Now, Mike does tickets. He rents things out, and he's actually been around right for 10 years. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why don't you g yeah, I'll yeah, give him the mic, or you give him the mic. But mm -hmm. <laughs> So tell me a little bit about what you can offer to musicians and possibly event centers uh, that are looking to find tickets, whether it's rental, Items, what is it that you do exactly so people know? This guy covers a whole lot of bases. Yeah, we, we do a lot of things. We try to act as the uh, we try to act as the backbone for promoters and musicians throughout Minneapolis. Uh, we've been around for about 10 years now. Things that we offer like club owners uh, downtown or even restaurants is we offer a service for them to sell their tickets online. We we help out as far as promoting and getting a word out using our email lists and web presence as well. Um, also, if you're throwing a show, you know, you need that last minute microphone set up or you're not quite sure how to set up the sound, well, we're, we're there for you as far as that. You can just rent the mic for one day or we'll even send a sound technician out there too. So. And the people you send out are so friendly, like they make you feel comfortable. And even someone like me, I love music. I, I have this knack that I'm a natural, but sometimes as Swizzle knows, I need to have his vocabulary to help me explain exactly what I'm feeling and how I'm right on. Whenever you brought out anybody, they're right on the money. They don't make you feel uncomfortable. They almost feel like you've known them for a while because they, they're around music so often. Sure, that's, that's definitely the case. A lot of people, you know, they, they got that true hard love yeah. for music, but they, you know, they don't understand how to hook up in a, uh, the XLR cable to the... Uh, or know, it breaks RCA at the last minute. And, you know, so, uh -huh. so we got our sound technicians. They understand that, and they're, they're there for you as far as hooking it up. They're, they'll take it through, easy, make it easy for you. Do you have a website we can check out? Um, yeah, the website's called vitalculture.com, and uh, yeah, check us out. You get some more information. Again, we're located outside of downtown, so... You know, I've had a couple of guitar players who came up to me with their chord and they just couldn't figure out which end of that guitar chord went into the amplifier. It yeah. wasn't me. No, it wasn't. <laughs> She's just the one that turns to me for help. And I'm the guy who, when somebody asks me if I need help, all I say is, well, all I can get. We'll go to Vital. And that's why we've got Mike. <laughs> it, it was vitalpoetry.com. Check us out. And thank you again, guys. You make there a great team. There are a whole team, lot so. of things. Thank you so much. All right. Tonight, um, I'm Tonight. feeling a little skittish. I don't know about you. I'm feeling a little skittish. I got kind of. I tell you, music. boys and girls, when we were down at the late Trocaderos, we uh, got to know a man by the name of Ed Footit. You may have seen him earlier this evening on KSTP News. His latest grand dream is a vast movie production complex in Burnsville. But what he really did for us 
mm. was to introduce us to the people you're going to see now. And they're Please very well dressed. Welcome, skittish. Here they come. Enjoy. Sit back, get a glass of whatever your favorite beverage is, and enjoy. Skittish. Though no one can tell it's causing your hell, you hide in so She lives in a town. Again, we are skittish. 
we can get the computer up a little bit in the monitor, so that'd be great. you'd like to know, don't they? Of course, right now, they're dressed for their Friday dates. For your success depends a great deal on how you look.
Casey didn't grow up Casey didn't know There's one for everyone So sleep tight little girl Cause I wanna leave you mighty nice Or break you up in my basement And you'll never excuse me, no You'll never laugh at me again Punks and squirrels in the three house entertained. I'm blind. I'm blind by that, Jack. Oh, <laughs> I had to wear something special for tonight. I appreciate that. I saw you guys do three songs. I believe it was three songs at, uh, at Trocadero's one night. And I just... I went screaming backstage and said, can you please, please come play my humble little TV show? I believe you from what I remember. No, those weren't mine. <laughs> I don't know what her name was, but I won't say anything. <laughs> so, who are we individually on the guitar and vocals? My name is Jeff Noller. And on the Squeeze Box, do you know a song by The Who called Squeeze Box? You know, I don't. I don't. I'm ashamed. I'm sorry. It's not one of their bigger hits. It's just one of my favorites. You'll have to try it sometime. You are? I am Siobhan Meal. How do you spell Siobhan? Uh, it's spelled S-I-O-B-H-A-N, so not at all how it sounds. Not even close. I was in a band once with two guys whose names were spelled just like they sounded. Dave Postlewaite, P-O-S-T-L-E-T-H-W-A-I-T-E, and Don Holshu, H-O-L-Z-S-C-H-U-H. -H. It's spelled just like it sounds. And on the mandolin. My name is Chris Lane. And that's spelled... L-A-H-N. Not exactly how it sounds either. Okay, you caught me again. Uh, well, um, let's start out with what's the website? We actually have two if you count the MySpace. Uh, the MySpace is myspace.com slash skittish music. Uh, or you can go to our, you know, our uh, normal web page, which is iamskittish.com. It's got all sorts of fun things on there for you. Yes, and what? What would you say skittish music is? Badass tunes for the new generation, man. No, I don't know. It's, it's folk rock. It's uh, whatever tickles me the right way at the, at the time. That sounds just as perverted as I meant it to be. All right. Does that mean he pushes everybody around, Siobhan? Oh, he's so mean. I'm usually cowering in a corner during band practices. I'm, yeah, <laughs> I have to wear a lot of makeup just so people don't know the real story. Uh, we'll hide the, the bruises to your psyche. Yeah, I run into a lot of doors around the house. <laughs> <laughs> and, and as the mando player, how do you stand up in, uh, in the middle of all of this fracas? I try to keep myself in line, and if I don't, Jeff will 
put me right back in place. So. <laughs> All right. So where does everybody come from before you wound up doing this wonderful thing, which I believe is just, it is so unique. Uh, Jeff and I actually grew up together. We were both originally from north of the suburbs here. And we went to school all the way from grade school together. And then Siobhan is from just south of the cities. And we met her in our later, early 20s, later teens. So just kind of all clicked right away. And it's been going well ever since. Okay. And Siobhan. Yeah, yeah. Let's not try to get too tangled up here. I think we could go a lot of dangerous places. So, Siobhan, um, well, there are all the accordion jokes in the world, but how did you wind up with that? And God bless you for doing it. Um, well, I joined the band as a keyboardist, and one day, Jeff handed me an accordion and said, I'd like you to play this. And so I took it home and started practicing on it and eventually decided that that one was far too out of tune and obnoxious to play. So I uh, went ahead and got a nice little, nice little beginner's accordion. And uh, it plays the notes I want it to play. You know, works well enough for me. This sounds a little bit like John Kerner's guitar. He went and asked a guitar maker to make him a guitar that would play itself. Guy succeeded, guy succeeded halfway. Built him a guitar that would only play one speed. So I see, I see uh, Milan, is this an Italian instrument? Uh, you know, no, I think it's actually like a Japanese one or something. I, I took it to, uh, to a shop to get it tuned once and the guy said that it was of a Japanese make of some sort and that because of the make of it, they're probably, it, they're just pretty much impossible to tune, but you know, it's still uh, doing all right so far, so. That sounds wonderful to me, and I don't care if the name is fake Italian or not. So you haven't been playing this for very long? A uh, couple of years, not, not too long. She learns quick, doesn't she? She better. <laughs> oh, there he is again. So. So how long have you been the driving force behind this marvelous uh, conglomeration? It's going, on, uh, it's going on three years. And we've done many things in those three years. Tour, South by Southwest, tons of local shows, two CDs, working on a new CD right now, a double CD. Ooh, the magnum opus. <laughs> Mr. Allen had his opus, it's time for me to get mine. Uh, so people can get the wax. There's more coming out. Can they see about this too on the website? Yes, they can. They can read all about it as we blog and update what we're doing. And uh, hopefully in the fall, let's hope I get it out in the fall. It's been a long time coming. But until then, there are already two that are available? That is correct. Available all over, all over the internet. All right, uh, where do we see you guys after your great claim to fame, TC Music? Okay, uh, after tonight, uh, July 16th, we're gonna be at uh, Bolt Underground for a big fashion show. Samantha Ray and her friends are putting on a big fashion show and it's just gonna be awesome. So, we're gonna play, play for that, look all spiffy. You are so fashionable yourselves. I wish I could disagree, but you hit the nail on the head there, man. Modesty as well. Okay, Mr. Lane. So, uh, not bluegrass, but skittish, eh? Yes, very much so. And it really is just kind of a blend of all the musics that we listen to, which is many. <laughs> so th this this runs the gamut from from punk rock to uh, to Bach. Yes, definitely. Um, myself is maybe a little more metal to Bach, but we we pull from everything that we listen to. Like I said, so wasn't it wasn't it Metallica that did the all covers album that had "So What" on it? Song that I first heard by the Anti Nowhere League. A friend of mine used to say that that uh, that Ozzy Osbourne invented metal, but Metallica perfected it. 
I'd say that's a fair assessment. Yeah. A metal guy with a mandolin. Oh, I love it. I just love it. Any uh any any uh French cafe music type things. I remember a squeeze box on um a record called The Great Rock and Roll Swindle. And it was a French cafe version of Anarchy in the UK by the Sex Pistols. Were they influenced by Weird Al at all? Because he likes his squeeze box. No, I think it was much better than Weird Al. Oh, really? You can't get much better than, than the weird, man. <laughs> all right. You'll have to look that up. <laughs> well, I think... I think we may actually have a cover or two on the way here. You mentioned Club Underground, and before I go, I want to say just a couple of... Well, I believe I'm going to get some help. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome uh, the one, the only, Nell Harrison. Here's Johnny! <laughs> yes, a rare appearance on the show by Nell Harrison tonight. Well, I think he's here. got to hone his onstage chops for the upcoming events. And that is what I'm actually here to announce, because have you heard of Charity Warriors? Somewhere in the deepest, darkest show. reaches of my mind, I have. But Charity Warriors at CharityWarriors.com is going to be trying to give away a Harley Davidson on hole number four at Chamonix Golf Course up in Lionel Lakes. And that would be for, uh, July the 10th. July 10th, yes. So if you would like to find out more about that, go to Treasured Chest. Treasured Chest, that's a cancer charity, a breast cancer word, charity that plural, uh, our host Kelly Moore started. So treasuredchest.org. And then on July 29th, we'll be at tr uh, the we'll Fine be Line. At the Fine Line in Not a Minneapolis. Big shout out to Ted Saxon. <laughs> Couldn't resist, but only Nell Harrison can get away from that. Um, but we'll be at the Fine Line, Minneapolis. Benefit for Chimbote. Big shout out to Fairview Southdale Hospital. And and finally, on July 31st is the Treasure Chest Gala at Epic. And we wanted to talk Indeed. about that. And um, for all that have come before us and for all that will come after us, Nell Harrison will now leave the stage and let Swizzo get back to this <laughs> fantastic group trio of musicians. Ladies so, and thank gentlemen, you, ladies and gentlemen. There he was. It's Nell. Um, we will be back in two weeks. And... In two weeks, you will be able to tell all your friends everywhere to tune us in. We will be streaming live on the web. Uh, before that, mm, coming up tomorrow night at Club Underground, where you will be able to see Skittish on the 16th. Bolt Underground on the 16th. Oh. I was wrong. Just this once. <laughs> yes, only the once. All right, at any rate, Club Underground, there is something called the Grand Machine. It is not like this, but it's pretty cool. The following Friday, look at the schedule for the Music Box Theater. You will find Jim Walsh doing a Pretty cool hootenanny. It's, it's a couple of people that you have seen right here on this show. And uh, look it up on Facebook. Look it up with the music box. But right now, I am really tickled because I think we're going to get more skittish, if you please. Gather on and I'll tell you a tale Hope you
catch the irony. I'd hate to be perpetually so cynical and stale, but it's just so fun for me. One, two. <laughs> And Christopher Robin promises we'll always be friends Then leaves out the green door never to return again Thirty years down the road Christopher Robin closed a business deal Cut down on the egg woods and put condos there instead His reasons for them Well, I want a big screen TV I want a brand new SUV That's just good business When your sound not your friends to make quick bug Throw away your memories, keeping up with Jones is all, all I, I ask. ask If you hold me in your heart forever All you heard is hold me in your heart today Thought old Chris Robin Bought a new place to play was true At 10 Jackie Paper promises we'll always be friends Then leaves out the cave door never to return again Thirty years down the road, Jack Paper owns an oil company. One night it ship, it's the rocks off the shores of Honolulu. Jack Paper checks the numbers, Jack Paper's profit margin, say let it be, let it be now. As the oil chokes off the last of his kind. The dragon says, all I ask, you hold me in your heart forever. All you heard is hold me in your heart today. Bottle Jack Paper, Keep me coming back here. Want a new place to play. Well, all I ever want It seems to me when things get right, they're really rotting. It seems to me, maybe it's the same with growing up. Home in your heart today, but all of our Let old come friends back again. want a new place to play. And all I ever wanted was truth. Ooh. Ooh. Yeehaw. Yeehaw, yeah. Yeehaw. By doing my best to make the whole situation easier, I overcome my own self consciousness. It helps me enjoy being with people. And I think it helps people enjoy being with me. It could help you, too, couldn't it?
sweet nothings are nothing much. Well, mama, she told me that loving comes easy, but I still have my doubts. Mama, can you see what this boy does to me? Well, worth the scarlet. that song about Bonnie? You know, I, d I don't know. I think it's about gumdrops and unicorns, mostly. Something like that. Wrapped in your appendages Since you've said yes You've never been so fair Breathing in your gross on the window Dream now in the driver's side And let the engine lullaby you there 
Flash for a days and the lights glow. And where we had, I cannot say sometimes. So closely, just keep driving. Break the seal, sleepy eyes with slender beams, or oh, windshield skies at dawn. Wake to watch the borderlines go by. Talk of times we played a house or revolution from a local mall. I keep our life between the lines But when you plunged in winter's curse I planned my day by the corners of your mouth But I'll be better, I'll be sweet, I'll be Seed among the thorns, and with these little lies, we lubricate our souls. Slip through gated walls. So strong. Good for us. Right yeah. on. Good times. Let's do more pretty things. Yeah, this one's light and pretty. Yeah. Well, sure. <coughs> Love me less, that gives you the upper end Congratulations It's obvious what you mean The way you sign your notes to me Salutations Yeah, and I don't even care I try to weld reality From the shrapnel of my dreams I try to keep busy it seems like everyone's leaving Where is everyone going? Seems like everyone's leaving Without me Yeah, you are my crossword, puzzle answer well, you may not be Miss Right, but you're the right number well, eleven. I try not to care. A single at step, all. catching out, giving in and giving up on someone or something. And I can't help but.
can I have a couple quarters more? The boatman's raised his prices and I don't want to be left out on the shore. Cause it seems like everyone's leaving. Well, where's everyone going? Seems like everyone's leaving without me. Quick cover that we threw together today. Uh, not bad. Not that one, huh? No, it's going to be with the piano, I think. Uh, I think we'll do it in E minor. If that's cool with you guys. Yeah. Um, yeah. We just heard some news today in the key of E minor. A very, very sad key. So I think we'll do a little something for you right now.
did a good job for us throwing together early tonight. <laughs> we thought that'd be appropriate. All right. On to an another cover. This next song is by a band called Cake. Show is. Badoop. Coming from you, friend is a four-letter word, and is the only part of the word that I heard. Call me morbid or absurd, but to me, coming. Thank you, Cake. 